You've probably seen it all over the internet by now. AI is getting more and more attention than ever before. Some of the most well-known names are ChatGPT to answer questions and Midjourney and Dolly to generate images. Since AI will be implemented in more and more spaces over time, I invited two experts on the show who will talk about how this will have impact for employees and management. Let me introduce our first expert. My name is Saskia Nijs. I'm founder of Studio 21st uh, and I advise companies on robotization in the workplace, uh, mainly looking at the combination of human potential and uh, technology and innovation. Great! Now let's welcome Edward, our second expert. Thanks. Thanks for having me. My name is Edward van Velkenberg. I'm a senior cloud solution architect focused on data and AI within Microsoft. I've been with uh, Microsoft for more than 11 years already, um, always working on the, the data side of the house. And um, the last couple of years, most of that has been starting to focus more and more on AI and machine learning and all of those topics. Awesome. Now let's jump into the topic. Saskia, what do you think about AI? All employees worldwide will be impacted uh, by AI and uh, mainly because it takes over tasks that people currently do. Uh, so they have to redefine their job. Now with, for example, Jet GPT, we start realizing that AI can take over quite some tasks of what we currently do uh, in our day-to-day -day job. We have to start thinking what our job and our, the skills in our job are worthwhile for the organization as well to put in there. So like being creative, connecting to customers, collaborating with uh, your colleagues. Okay, so why is it that AI is being adopted at this speed right now? The human beings are used to talking in natural language. This enables many, many more people to use these technologies than, than was was previously possible. So for end users, there's a big opportunity also to, to step into this, to, to start learning how to work with these prompts, to, to start understanding how these models come to their outputs and um, how, to, how to play with that and make that useful for your business. All right, so there's still some steps for us to take to get the most out of AI. So the skills and knowledge uh, that employees should start to gain on AI is not only understanding AI and using mm -hmm. it, and just try it, learning by doing, exactly. um, but it requires from us to be curious and to have an imagination of where you want to go to. And for example, if I now want some kind of music and I ask uh, Siri to give me some answers, I need to make sure that I have the right question for what is in my mind. So being curious, imagination on what you expect and asking the right question to the technology will only lead to uh, a worthwhile experience with AI. When you really dive into what these models do, the key thing is that they're driven by prompts. So they're they're as good as the, the prompt that you give it, so the, the question you ask of it. That is the, the, the way it comes up with an answer. So getting to understand what those prompts do, what they look like, how to structure them, what to include, that is really a, a new skill that will be quite important going forward. And if you really want to get in this space, if you start investing there, then you, uh, uh, then you can really make a difference. Yeah, so basically you don't need to be a data scientist to work with AI, right? just start playing with it. Uh, ChatGPT is out there, so you can just go to uh, to OpenAI and, and start playing around with it. And just just try out different combinations of things. Try out, you know, different instructions for the same, uh, for the same question. But at the same time, think about how it can impact your day-to-day -day job and which tasks can be done by uh, AI and what does that mean for you in using your human potential in the workplace? Wow, that's a great way to finish the first half of the video. You gotta understand AI and start working with AI. But most importantly, it should unlock the human potential that was inside of you all along. You know what else has been inside of you all along? The desire to subscribe to the Workplace Buddy YouTube channel. There's a button down below. Anyway, let's continue. So, Saskia, what skills do you think management should gain in regards to AI? Besides understanding at a certain level AI, is to understand that you have to connect your people to the technology. It's not either or, it's end end. Right, making sure that employees understand and are comfortable with the technology is very important. 
Uh, what else do you think management should do? So what they should start understanding is how that will contribute to the human potential that they have in their teams and how it supports their business goals and their business innovation. Thanks. Edward, how do you see the risks and opportunities of AI for organizations? It is a really big opportunity for many companies to, to do new things in new ways and make certain business processes more efficient, uh, to uh, create new customer experiences and many other scenarios that are that are out there. As with any technology, it comes with, uh, with risks and it is just a tool in your toolbox. So you should also really consider, okay, we have this technology, but we also have a, a bunch of other stuff. Um, so uh, picking the right tool for the job is also really important because one of the downsides of these models is that they're quite expensive. The OpenAI GPT model um, is something that is a significant investment to run that thing. So understanding why you do it and what you do with it, and if you actually need that one or do you need a smaller one, those are all questions that you do need to really consider when you start investing in this space because if you don't consider that and you don't think through what it means and, and what you do with what, uh, you might end up with a really expensive solution that you could have done a lot cheaper with, with existing tools. Okay, so that's very useful. AI might indeed be a little expensive if it doesn't fit your business case. Uh, what other possible risks do you see? Using these technologies comes with responsibility. The, these models, they generate output based on the input and uh, you are responsible for the output that you um, that you get and what you do with that output. So thinking through how do we mitigate potential hallucinations as the as those uh, nonsense outputs are called? How do we deal with that? Do we put a human in the loop? Do we put filters around it? Um, how do we mitigate potentially sending the wrong output to a customer or um, in a letter or in a proposal or whatever. So you need to think, think what, what does that mean? How, how do we handle that? How do we deal with that? What do we put around that to make sure that we don't get negative outcomes out of it? All right, all right. Thank you, both of you. Whew. Now, that was a lot of information. So let me summarize the five most important lessons we can take away from this. First, understand how to work with AI. Learn how to talk to AI using prompts. Play with it and stay curious. That way you'll start discovering how to get the results that you want. Secondly, find out what tasks can be done by AI. Now AI is not a thread, it should actually help you get rid of boring and monotonous tasks. Also, think about how AI should help you bring more focus on your very own unique talents. The third thing is matching AI with your human potential. Help your colleagues out with the technology and become comfortable using it. The fourth thing is check if AI is a match for your goals. Make sure you have your goals laid out right and check if AI really is the best solution to your problem. And of course, if the business case makes sense. And the final thing is have mitigations in place. When your AI model is interacting with employees or even customers, it's always nice to have mitigations in place in case the AI does something it's not supposed to. All right. Ugh, Saskia and Edward, I'm about to wrap this up. Do you guys have any tips for our audience before I break off this meeting? As far as, as getting started, um, my, my number one thing is that you need to experience this. So it doesn't matter if you're a manager or if you're an end user or developer or whoever, you need to start experiencing these technologies and seeing what they do and how they work and how you interact with them. Um, and really getting a feel for the for the way they, they you know, view the world and, and what, what they can and can do. My biggest tip, use chat GPT when it comes into Outlook for emailing and get rid of all this emailing. Great, thanks guys. Of course, this is not the end of learning about AI. It's really just the start. Like Saskia mentioned, AI models will be implemented in Outlook, like for suggesting how to reply to an email, but also for Excel, for Teams, for generating summaries and creating tasks out of an online meeting you just had, Word, and lots of other spaces. Microsoft is branding these features as Copilot. At Workplace Buddy, right now we see that AI is mostly just very informative. You can ask it to answer a question or ask it to generate an image for you. But in the near future, AI will start doing things a bit more automatically. 
make decisions in your organization, and generally just kind of act like an actual coworker. You know, like you and me. Being ready for this is key. At Workplace Buddy, we help you and your organization to grow and stay up to date in this digital world. From working securely to eventually being able to implement AI into your own data. Our bite-sized learnings, updates, and support is tailored to you personally and your digital skill level. But most importantly, we want you to have an awesome, great, and amazing experience upgrading your digital skill level. If you're interested to learn more, go to our website in the description below and schedule a demo. I've been Mitch from Workplace Buddy, I'll be seeing you in the next video, and I hope you have an alpaca-tastic day.